Hi everyone, in today's video, I am going to discuss a very interesting problem that is triplet sum in array. So in this video, first we will understand the problem statement, then we will discuss the multiple approaches to solve this problem and finally we will write its Java code. So let's start with the problem statement and in this problem we have given an array of size n and integer x and we have to write a code to find if there exists a triplet in the array which sums up to the given integer x. So in this problem statement we have given first the array, second the size of the array and third the integer x and we have to write a code to find if there exists a triplet whose sum is equal to this given number x right so let's understand this problem statement through multiple examples so in the first example we have given this array the value of x and the array size right so we have to check whether there exists a triplet whose sum is equal to 13 yes so if we do the sum of 1 4 and 8 right so 1 4 and 8 it its sum so this sum is equal to 13 so we return true so basically if you see the method signature we have to return the boolean value either true or false whether the value exists or not right let's move to the second example right so in the second example we have given this array right we have given this array the value of x and the array size and in this array the three numbers whose sum is equal to 10 is 1 3 and 6 right so again we return true and basically to solve this problem the expected time complexity is on square without using any extra space right so it means we have to use a constant space so this is the problem statement now let's discuss how we can solve this problem we start with the simplest approach and as we move forward we optimize our approach to solve this problem optimally right so the easiest approach is to use three loops to solve this problem the purpose of using three loops is to generate all possible triplets and find any three numbers whose sum is equal to the value x right so let me explain this so let's take three pointers right so the outer loop which initially points to this so the variable i this outer loop right and then the this loop j which points to i plus 1 right so at this index and the k will points to this index which is this loop right now what we do is we take the elements present at this indexes we take the elements so this is 1 this is 4 and this 45 is it equal to x no so as we are using three four loops so first the inner loop will complete then the control goes to this loop when this loop also completes then the control goes to the outer loop right so as these we do this if we do the sum of sum of 1 4 and 45 it is not equal to x so what we are doing here is we are incrementing the value of k so i and j remain as it is and the value of k will be incremented right so k will point to this index and this time we do the sum of 1 4 and 6 which is this condition and again it is not equal to 13 so again what we do we increment the value of k right and i the value the i and j will remain as it is so we do the sum 1 4 and 10 again it's not equal and then we increment the value of k and this time when we do the sum 1 4 and 8 it is equal to the value x which is 13 so we return true right and after that basically we return the value true and after that we exited from this loop but what happens if this 
is some other value Let, let's say if it is 9 then again the sum is not equal so after so when this condition so when this condition is false we came out of this loop and the control goes to this this loop right so we increment in that case we incremented the value of j and the k will start from this point so this one 45 and 6 then again k will be incremented and then again it will be incremented so in this way what we are doing here is we are generating all possible triplets right and comparing is there is there any three number exist in this array whose sum is equal to the value x right so this is the simplest approach or you can say the brute force approach so let, let me run this code so if i run this code so you can see uh, it is it it passed and now if i run all the test cases at some point it will fail because it exceeds the time limit right so now it's i mean it's very important to optimize your approach so let let's first talk about its time and space complexity then we will uh, move to another approach where we will optimize this solution and then again we submit them and see what happens that so the time complexity is big o of n cube so basically we are using three four loops right and its a space complexity is big o of one as we are not using any extra space right so that's the brute force approach let's uh, solve this problem efficiently let's optimize our approach right so let's discuss our next approach let's discuss our second approach so in our first approach we are forming all the possible sets of three numbers to check whether it is equal to the given value x or not so is there a way to optimize our approach what if we sort this array and then use two pointers to solve this problem right so why we are sorting this array because if the array is sorted we don't have to make all possible sets right we can do the sum of the three numbers and accordingly move the pointers so let me explain this so we have given this array right let's first sort this array so let me sort this array and after sorting the numbers are arranged like this 8 10 45 right and now let's run a loop <coughs> so let's again take three pointers so this i will point at zeroth index then we have one pointer which point at this index Let, let's uh, let's <coughs> say it is j and one pointer will point at this index let's say it is k now how it is different from the first approach uh, let me explain this so first we do the sum of all the numbers present at this indexes so it is 1 4 and 45 right so this i is fixed as of now right so the sum is greater than x right and the array is sorted so what we can do instead of making all the possible combination all the possible sets of three numbers we know that the number is greater than the value of x and so and the array is sorted so we can decrement the value of k as we decrement the value of k it means we are moving towards the smaller smaller number and then again we do the sum of all the three numbers which is present at these indexes and check now whether it is equal to the value of x or is it greater or smaller than x and accordingly we move these two pointers right we keep i as it is and we move these two pointers right so as the number is greater than the value 
present in this variable x so we decrement the value of k and k will now point at this index right so again let's do the sum and when we do the sum it is 15 again it is greater than x so we have to simply decrement its value now it will point at this index and if we do the sum this time now the sum is equal right so we return true now let's see what happens if it's not this case so we move the value of k again and now if it is not found then in next iteration what we do we in next iteration we increment the value of i and then we fix j here and k here and again we do the sum and see whether it is equal to the value of k or whether we have to move the j pointer or k pointer so now instead of three loops right we are using two loops because we have sorted the array and we fix this i and we take two pointers j and k and we take decision based on that whether this sum is greater than the value x so whether we have to decrement the value of this pointer or if it is smaller than x then we have to increment the value of j right so this is the code here so first we sort this array then we run a loop right so we we, we are running the loop from 0 to n minus 1 because at the last index we are placing this pointer and then we are taking two more variables one for this pointer and one for this pointer and then this while loop where so we take this two pointers and the condition is basically this pointer the value of this pointer index should be less than the point this pointer index as we are moving both the pointers right so first we check whether the sum is equal to x if it is return true else if it is less than x so if it is less than x so definitely we have to move the j pointer because the array is sorted so the next greater element will exist on the next index right else so the sum will be greater than x so we have to decrement the value of k as the smaller number exists in the previous indexes right and after that if we found any three numbers so we return true else if this loop when we came out of this loop it means uh, the three numbers does not exist in the array whose sum is equal to x so we return false right now let's uh, talk about its time and complex uh, its time and space complexity so its time complexity is big of n square and again its space complexity is big o of 1 as we are using constant space right so we started with the brute force approach and then we optimized our approach to solve this problem in win square right so let's run this code and if i let me submit this so so this time it will pass as the constant mention in this basically if you see this problem statement the expectation would be we solve this problem in one square and its space complexity complexity should be big o of one so that's it for this video tutorial i hope uh, you like this video and please uh, like this video and share with your friends and colleagues so that they also watch this video tutorial and if you have not subscribed our youtube channel please subscribe our channel so that whenever i upload a new video you will get its notification so thank you thank you very much for your time